Today we're going to look at the methods of holding water or how in-pool furniture just works in general. So we're going to talk about the Tenjam products here and how they have like an open air design on the bottom of their products so water can recirculate and why they develop that for all their in-pool furniture. We're going to look at a ledge lounger signature chaise and we're going to look at a, a Kai floating luxury lounger. Now today to prepare for this video shoot, uh, we arrived, this homeowner has a Kai lounger in their pool. So in order to take this lounger out of the pool, we had to empty the lounger. Uh, because when it's full, the lounger is over 200 pounds when full of water. Now, both of these products, when we, um, a ledge lounger or a Kai luxury lounger, use a screw plug system. And so with their system, you take out the plugs in their products. You can see it's a big port there. And you fill the you fill the furniture with water once the furniture is full of water you put the plug back in and that holds the water inside the reason you don't want to do that is because when we emptied this product to remove it from the pool today all kinds of algae just started pouring out into the pool and unfortunately now we have algae blob blobs everywhere but we just fished a couple out of the pool and so you can just see an example of what's growing inside this lounger so things another thing you see is you can see like the staining, that's not staining, that's a big glob of algae inside the core of that product. And on this solid white color, you can just clearly see that through the product. Um, Ledge Lounger, they do the same thing. This, this is a spin weld screw plug. And so I'll explain how that works. So you have the layer of plastic on the product and then you have an outer fitting, okay? The threaded port. And there's a machine that just uh, spins this super fast and what it does is it creates a plastic to plastic weld. So you can see on their products you can see that weld mark or where that plastic spun out and that uh, got hot and just swung out of there. But then you have this plug that goes up within that port. Now here's an example with this one. If I turn this so you can see the inside of the product, that port is much deeper than the wall of the product. So when you go to empty these products out, you can never get the water all the way out because the water meets this, say, half inch or the depth of that port. And once it does that, you can't get the water all the way out. So even if you were going to, say, refresh the water more often, you're still stuck with water that's never able to get out of the product. Uh, this product was in storage uh, for the, about the past six months with the plugs out of it. Uh, it's been filled one time, but there's still water that's sloshing around. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, you can't hear, but there's water just still sloshing around inside this product. You can't get the water out. So let's look at the Tenjam products. So the Tenjam products are designed so the bottoms of the products are open. You can hear when I, when I pull this product out, it releases a vacuum seal. You can see all the open holes here. There's no spin weld fitting that's up above the wall of the product that's stopping that water from coming out. So it's just free to come and drain out the bottom. Uh, all the holes were put at the lowest points in the product. So when we pull this product from the pool and put it on the patio, it's gonna fully drain out. But while it's in the pool, that water can constantly recirculate itself so it doesn't grow algae and, and mold inside. Um, I'll just show you a bigger concept of that with a 10 jam bench. Now again, this same, this same kind of concept holds true for all the products where it's open on the bottom. What that allows you to do is just set the product in the pool, okay? The water's constantly refreshing itself inside. And then when it's time to pull the product, it just drains itself. You put it on the patio and it's just gonna air out and completely dry out. Where these products here, you're just gonna, you know, people leave it in the pool. The homeowner doesn't even know that algae is just growing inside that product, but they see the, the product is looking stained and they can't figure out why. 